guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl empress imani what's good and welcome if you're new for today's video we're doing a lock update it's been a little while maybe like a couple of months i don't know um but as you can see a couple of things have happened <laughs> so i chopped off as much of the lock extensions as i could um, basically, most of these locks are all mine, except for the ones, like, in the front and on the sides, like, just so I, I can keep a shape and layer it a little bit. Um, not all of them have the locks, um, have the lock extensions completely off, but most of them are mine, especially in the back of my head and the sides. Like, these are all mine. These are all mine. And I'm I'm pretty sure I missed a couple, but most of these are mine. And I basically just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my lock journey. And I'd started them off with extensions, obviously. So like the main plan was to just cut my lock extensions off as my hair grows. And that's what I've been doing. I've been playing around with my locks too, adding extensions on, cutting them off, just having fun. But I've gotten to the point where I kind of just want to rock my locks, at least most of them anyway, because my hair has grown so much and like, I feel like it looks so cute short. Like locks, short locks on me, I think it just looks so cute. Short hair in general, because I have a nice face i don't even want to like it sounds weird to say that loud but i do have a nice face you know and i feel like long hair just no layers and anything it just kind of hides my face it doesn't accentuate it i feel like short hair layers looks so good on my face it just shapes it so well so i'm loving this cut and i'm gonna continue to let my hair grow but i don't even know if i I'm gonna cut it. I mean, I feel like I'm probably not because now I'm cutting my locks basically if I do decide to cut them as I grow, as they grow, um, just to keep it short. And I don't know how comfortable I am doing that. I'm still, I guess, a little attached to my hair in that sense, you know? But I don't think, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, okay? I don't wanna say anything because knowing me, who knows i might end up just deciding to leave my hair alone not cut it anymore just let it grow out or i might end up cutting it back short with even though even when it grows out so i don't really know i just know that as of right now i really wanted to cut off all the extensions and i'm glad i did but of course like i said not all of the locks have um like some of the locks still have a little bit of the extensions on the ends like this one for example this right here is the extension and then this up is all mine you know so just to kind of keep the shape i didn't cut every one off at towards the top of my head honestly these locks have been so fun um such abuse of confidence like i just love locks it's just they're so beautiful they're so beautiful like Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it just, it's so black. It's so pretty. It's so elegant. I just love locks. And this journey has been really fun. And I'm so excited to see what goes on with my hair from here on and how well my hair continues to flourish. Because, man, it's only been, a, it's only been a year and a couple of months you know and my locks have already grown so freaking much like my hair grows pretty fast i would say because my nails grow fast too but so when it comes to dyeing my locks i didn't use bleach i used bleach once um when my lock when i had um the longer hair i bleached it once and then the other times i just used box dye and i don't think i'll ever go back to bleach because bleach as, as obviously you know is damaging <laughs> and it's unnecessary now that i found a new way to kind of lighten the hair you have l'oreal hair color and then you just mix it in with 
developer and it lightens the hair and deposits the color at the same time so it's really helpful you still get um a different hair color but without all the damage so if anything if i do decide to change my hair again i will be doing it that way and no longer using bleach um just because on the extensions it ruined the extensions like at least most of them it ruined the extensions it's already like it's human hair but you know it's still dead hair so bleach on extensions is just it's gonna take way more of a toll than it would on natural hair bleaching lock extensions i wouldn't recommend i would recommend though buying them pre-colored i think that's way easier if you plan on getting lock extensions and you want color or you know you might want color I would definitely recommend getting like a lighter, either blonde lock extensions or like a brown. So then you don't have to bleach it or, you know, lighten it so much to get the color that you're looking for. And even though my hair is short now, I can still do like so many hairstyles. And I'm going to do another video styling my locks so I can show you guys. Like even though it's short, it's still cute. It's still cute, okay? If you're thinking about uh, starting locks, but you don't want to start with your own hair, natural hair, you want the long look, you know, instantly, I would definitely recommend starting your locks with lock extensions. Or if you just don't want to deal with the short phase and it'll keep you from having to wear, like cover your head, it'll keep you from having to cover your head or, you know, putting protective styles over it or wigs. Um, for me, when I started a lot my lock journey, I knew for a fact that I did not want to rock because my hair was so short. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, I'll cl insert a clip so you guys can see. But my hair, my locks, oh my gosh, I can't talk. My hair was so short. So I knew I didn't want to start my locks um, at that length and wear it out like that. I, I was not prepared for that, especially because where I work, you know, you just want to look good. And not to say that the short little starter locks don't look good or whatever the case is, but I was just not, I was not about to do that. So lock extensions definitely helped me out with that part, you know, because I knew I wanted locks, but I didn't want to go through that whole phase. And then this, it locks your hair and you don't, you're not even worried about it, you know, like, cause you added lock extensions, it's giving you the illusion that your natural hair is already locked, but it's not. Your, your hair's still going through the locking phase or phases. So getting lock extensions kind of just keeps your mind like off of how your locks are progressing, I guess. So, I, I don't know. I love lock extensions. I don't get the whole discourse between lock extensions, not getting lock extensions. At the end of the day, hey, to me, do what you want, okay? Do what you want. <laughs> and it ain't that deep. To some people, if it's that deep to you, cool. But for me, it ain't nothing but a chicken wing, okay? I'm gonna do it. I would do it over. <laughs> I would do it again and again, okay? Um, what else? I'm trying to think of any other things that I can tell you guys that I've witnessed. As far as hair products goes, I am now, I think, using mostly water. And then I have this conditioner from, or this leave-in from Mazani. It's amazing. It's really good. Very hydrating. And it smells really good. So it'll have, it'll have your hair smelling amazing. But it is very, you know, it's a leave-in. So... I don't think that's something I will be putting on my hair every day anymore just because I did realize that over the weeks my hair my locks were getting a little bit build up um nothing major though um and it's easy to rinse out so that's a good thing too but I do just use mostly water every day and I'm gonna start spraying my locks more often than I normally do um I normally spray it when i first wake up and then at night before bed but i think i'm gonna sp start spraying my locks in the morning sometime in the evening and then again 
in the afternoon and I might even start bringing a little mini spray bottle with me so I can start spraying my hair throughout when I'm outside you know just to keep my locks hydrated and nice with only water um, I don't really use oil on my scalp too much um, sometimes I do but I mainly only put it on my edges that's that never changed um, I still only do that because if you guys don't know I have seborrheic dermatitis but we ain't even gonna claim that anymore because my scalp is in this it, my scalp and hair is in the best health it's ever been okay um but okay not ever <laughs> but in a while you know um especially since after that situation it, for those of you that are afraid to get lock extensions because you think people are going to talk bad about you or you think that they don't look good both are things you shouldn't worry about because one they do look real like when i started my lock extensions nobody knew that it was extensions everyone just would ask me oh, how long have you been, you've been growing your locks i love your locks i still get compliments on my locks even though they're this short but you, nobody could tell and if, if anybody tells you that has locks and that lock extensions look fake they're lying and they're just being haters period not, not to say that some do look fake because it depends on where you get your hair from but nine times out of ten you don't even know so if you're worried about that and you want to start lock extensions don't worry about that just get your hair from the link that i um showed you guys from etsy um or nah get it from etsy i don't trust amazon i feel like amazon is a gamble you never really know um so i would say get your lock extensions from etsy and also don't, don't care what these other lock people are saying i think it's so annoying that they're I, I don't know people in general i think just try and find a way to divide there's it's at the end of the day it's locks it's a black hairstyle it's beautiful and it's better than wearing some straight hair oh, really not, you know so milk. that's it for this video i hope i didn't miss anything i really should have written written down some notes but there was not much i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little lock update show you guys my locks too and honestly i'm just so proud of my hair i'm so proud of my hair like she's been freaking doing so good and i just i don't know i love short hair i really think it frames my face really well so who knows but i might keep it short or i might grow it out and then chop it again we'll see um but that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this lock update i will see you guys in the next video i have some good videos dropping soon so stay tuned and i'm gonna try and do more lock content type of videos so you know help me out too with some suggestions if there's anything about locks that you want to see a video about or any specific videos you want to watch let me know in the comments. I love seeing you guys' suggestions. Like, it helps me out. It helps me knowing to know what you guys want to see and what you guys like to watch, you know. So, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit. I'll see you guys in my next video.